Living Voices is a semester class in which students write and learn about contemporary poetry. The course is taught by Mrs. Suzanne Snyder Carroll, and this program is being taped by Mr. Frank Flegel and his TV production classes. To get to. Don't try to see through the distances. That's not for human beings. Move within, but don't move the way fear makes you move. It stands for freedom, but it limits our knowledge. Stop the insanity. Give your donations to the rich. Help them prosecute the innocent. While our friends live on the streets starving, they do not deserve our money. It is only our fault they are there. Let us not even acknowledge them as humans. Rats, exterminate them all. Poison to our society, poison to the world. You ignorant fools, they've brainwashed you, making you believe your views are unwanted. Shut up and give us your money. We need new business suits. Forget about the greedy, what about the needy? Money, we all want more. Raise the taxes, lower our morals. Standards are what we make of them. Lower our standards, lower our power. Do not let the defenses down. We cannot risk an attack on a weak and fragile country. Like a pack of wolves, we do not run alone. Kept in our caves, gnawing on raw meat. This is how we live. This is life. And encase the bastard his own statue forever, holding a torch of metallic fire as millions push and shift to reach the top, the crown the head, so that they may finally escape their prison. Let the birds chirp, and bathe him in their defecation as he rots. Stench cannot be released. Is you, Demon Rossi? What you have heard is true. I was in his house. His wife carried a tray of coffee and sugar. His daughter filed her nails. His son went out for the night. There were daily papers, pet dogs, and a pistol on the cushion beside him. The moon swung black on its cord over the house. On the television was a cop show. It was English. Broken bottles were embedded in the walls around the house to scoop the kneecaps from a man's legs or to cut his hands to lace. On the window, there were gratings like those in a liquor store. We had dinner, rack of lamb. Good wine. A gold bell was on the table for calling the maid. The maid brought green mangoes, salt, a type of bread. I was asked how I enjoyed the country. There was a brief commercial in Spanish. His wife took everything away. There was some talk then of how difficult it had become to govern. The parrot said hello on the terrace. The colonel told it to shut up and push himself from the table. My friend said to me with his eyes, Say nothing. The colonel returned with a sack used to bring groceries home. He spilled many human ears on the table. They're like dried peach halves. There's no other way to say this. He took one of them in his hands, shook it in our faces, dropped it into a water glass. It came alive there. I'm tired of fooling around, he said. As for the rights of anyone, tell your people they can go damn themselves. He swept the ears to the floor with his arm and held the last of his wine in the air. Something for your poetry, no, he said. Some of the ears on the floor caught the scrap of his voice. Some of the ears on the floor were pressed to the ground. I want to enter death with confidence. I want to die with dignity for which I was blessed with in my existence. Why should I be terrified of something that all human beings must do, this mortal fate that we all must face? But I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not. I am. I want to enter death with no regrets. Should have said, not waited to be asked. Should have done, not waited to be told. Should have loved, not waited to be loved. I want to go complete, having accomplished all I could have imagined. Living the ideal life, not the one that was planned for me. Crying tears of joy or sadness when I wanted to, not when it was convenient. Loving because it felt right, not being told I wasn't allowed. I want to be me. Light it up, let it burn, as the smoke billows from your burning remnants. So does your allegiance, your respect. No longer free as the wind, confined, you are a prisoner of your consciousness. Fifty, forty, thirty, the states are enveloped in flames. Burn, baby, burn the crowd chants. I stand, watching, observing, doing nothing. I'm afraid to use my freedom to restrict yours. As the flames strangle and choke democracy, you cackle and laugh. 
When you leave, I pick up the ashes of old glory and give them a proper burial, free from your ridicule. All depends on the skin, like the skin of a fruit, a mango maybe, chili mango juice that drips down my dimpled chin onto my mango-colored dress. I dug my nails into the skin and sucked the sweetness out of the sensual fruit. I tangoed with the mango in my tongue, under a spell, intoxicated. I was a drunken fool, a mess, mangled by a mango. With primal void and cosmic night, love had its way and there was light. Flaming waste through eons long took form and chaos turned to song. In the... I can't do it. I... The sun embraced the virgin earth and warmed the leafy plants to birth. Slow ages passing patient time brought creeping reptiles from the slime. Through vasty waters fishes sped and toward jungles beasts were bred. Then beauty filled the land with flowers and lo, birds thronged the forest bowers. Love yearned for answering, love the voice of thinking man made God rejoice. Then all the stars began to sing as conscious nature crowned its king. If they say, don't I know you? Say, no. When they invite you to the party, remember what parties are like before answering. Someone telling you in a loud voice they once wrote a poem. Greasy sausage balls on a paper plate, then reply. When they say, we should get together. Say, why? It's not that you don't love them anymore. You're trying to remember something too important to forget. Trees, the monastery bell at twilight. Tell them you have a new project. It will never be finished. When someone recognizes you in a grocery store, nod briefly and become a cabbage. When someone you haven't seen in 10 years appears at the door, don't start singing him all your new songs. You will never catch up. Walk around like a leaf, knowing you could tumble any second, then decide what to do with your time. I was angry with my friend, I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe, I told it not, my wrath did grow. And I watered it in fears, night and morning, with my tears. And I sunned it with smiles, with soft deceit for whiles. And it grew both day and night, till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and then he knew it was mine. And into my garden stole, when the night had veiled the pole. In the morning glad I see, my foe outstretched beneath the tree. I have been one acquainted with the night. I have walked out in rain and back in rain. I have outwalked the furthest city light. I have looked down the saddest city lane. I have passed the watchman on his beat and dropped my eyes, unwilling to explain. I have stood still and stopped the sound of feet when far away an interrupted cry came over houses from another street, but not to call me back or say goodbye. And further still, at an unearthly height, one luminary clock against the sky proclaimed the time was neither wrong nor right. I have been one acquainted with the night. Dear John, dear Coltrane. A love supreme, a love supreme, a love supreme, a love supreme. Sex, fingers, toes in the marketplace near your father's church in Hamlet, North Carolina. Witness to this love and this calm follow of these minds. There's no substitute for pain. Genitals gone or going. Seed burned out, you tuck the roots in the earth. Turn back and move by river through the swamps, singing. A love supreme, a love supreme. What does it all mean? Lost so great, each black woman expects your failure and mute change. The seed gone. You plot up into the electric city, your song now crystal in the blues. You pick up the horn with some will to blow into the freezing night. A love supreme, a love supreme. Dawn comes and you cook up the thick sin tween. Impotence and death fuel the tenor sax cannibal heart. Genitals and sweat that makes you clean. A love supreme, a love supreme. Why you so black? Cause I am. Why you so funky? Cause I am. Why you so black? Cause I am. Why you so sweet? Cause I am. Why you so black? Cause I am. A love supreme. A love supreme. So sick you couldn't play, Naima. So flat we ached for song you'd conceal with your own blood. Your diseased liver gave out its purity. The inflated heart pumps out. The tenor kiss, tenor love. A love supreme, a love supreme, 
a love supreme, a love supreme. Flick of the flint, a flame rises pressed to the lips. A breath is taken in, the cigarette is lit. Smoke climbing through the lungs and is blown out, beginning so great but is lost in the moment, only to be thought of in the end. Burning down to the filter, a realization of lost drags, while pressing the cigarette to the ashtray. Looking back into the room condensed with mist, some of the smoke was used, felt, tasted, experienced. Most of it was wasted. I am the loss from the ash of what's no more. Fade away and accept the smoke you've touched. From the mother that gave birth to me, to the father that taught me how to ride a bike, to the brother that pulled my hair and showed me how to be a big sister, my family, my love, my life. And parts of them, smile, hair, looks, behavior, I reflect them, the crying, the pain, the happiness and joy, my family, my love, my life. My culture and background, my love of the world around me, keeping my feet on the ground and my head in the clouds, the peace inside of me, knowing I always have a home to go to, my family, my love, my life. They are me, and I am them, and always will be. My family, my love, my life. First, she is the matriarch, the mother hen. For years her home has been the nest for all, filling the kitchen with glorious scents, pasta and sauce, dessert and coffee, the oldest in age but the youngest at heart. Her family keeps her going and her work keeps her young. Another meal to prepare, another blanket to sew, another selfless act. Second, life. Forever her arms have been open to me, filling my head with caring advice. Work hard and have fun, love and be loved. Still young in her age, but her tiredness shows. Her work is never done and then it goes thankless. Another kid off to school, another load in the wash, another day on the job. Third, I am her grandchild, I am her daughter learning the lessons from the best in the game, taking in things and storing them well. Remember that rule, take that to heart. The youngest in age, but prepared for the future. My job is yet to begin and the work lies ahead. Another mother to be, another child to come, another labor of love. You could like being lost once you've come this far. Let the unknown river guide you through the cave of trees, hanging over with their newly turned leaves of auburn and golden brown. Searching the water for some unknown meaning of life. As the water trickles past rocks, changing into rapid water, you ponder your existence. I grab a stone of dark gray to remember the moment and feel the smoothness underneath the rough, jagged rock. Where would this river lead? I don't know. I can't turn back now. I need to find what I lost so long ago. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends. He dips his wings in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. A cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but long for still. And his tune is heard on a distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze, and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees, and a fat worm's waiting on a dawn bright lawn, and he names the sky his own. But the cage bird stands on the grave of dreams, his shadow shouts on a nightmare scream, his wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still, and his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom. Thick and black, there is much to be seen. There are walls and stairways and intimidating walkways which are always somewhere around me. My pace, as always, is slow and cautious, and my feet glide across the floor. And my arms reach out to touch the air as I wait for some knocking at some door, but there is silence, dead silence. And I forget how to speak. I wish I could hear maybe my name from the mouths of the choking, or the running, or the dying, and the weak. But fall on your knees, someone, and cry, and I will yield for your relief. And you shall flicker as a candle wicks, sinful flame would not believe. <laughs> <laughs> 